Our Family Matters podcast is hosted by our director, Father Alexander Gusetis, and features interviews, reflections, book reviews, and narratives that encourage dialogue and strengthen families. It debuted in June 2017 on Ancient Faith Radio, and since then, 24 podcasts have been recorded. December of 2017 alone saw over 3,000 hits, placing it in the top third of such audiences on Ancient Faith. Our summer program, Soak Up the Sun, utilizes videos and activity guides to encourage families to stay connected to Christ and the Church through weekly encouragement of prayer, faith-based activity, and learning. Last summer, the program ran for 14 weeks with an average of 1,400 views per episode. This summer's Soak Up the Sun has focused on the theme of going forth. In 2014, we launched our webinar program that has since become one of our most effective resources. To date, we have run 19 webinars pertinent to family, marriage, and other timely subjects from an Orthodox Christian perspective. Altogether, the webinars have been viewed over 12,000 times, in addition to the range of 50 to 200 registrants that participate during each live broadcast. After the initial airing, Webinars are archived and supplemented with study materials for further utilization. Parishes, families, and individuals are encouraged to view archived webinars as a cost-effective way to bring noted Orthodox Christian speakers into their communities and homes. Since 2013, we have had the privilege of planning and hosting four national conferences. The conferences alternate between themes related to family ministry and pastoral challenges in marriage. At our most recent conference, The Orthodox Family in a Changing World, we addressed critical issues pertaining to modern family life and explored practical methods to address them in the parish and in the home. There's a lot of work to be done. We want to grow the church. We have to really start getting to work. It has to be a sacrifice on everyone's part. This kind of inspired me to, to make sacrifices myself and, and hopefully by, by myself making more sacrifices, it inspires others to make sacrifices as well. The mission of our clergy couple care ministry is to minister to the ongoing needs of seminarian and clergy wives and couples for healthy, holy self-care and the building of strong, vital, vibrant marriages that thrive in the midst of the challenges of parish life. The following list highlights the activities of clergy couple care. Our website strives to be a clearinghouse of Orthodox Christian family ministry articles, resources, and general information to support parents in raising their children in the church and to assist parishes in their ministry to families and individuals. In addition, we have the Family Link email list, which keeps families and parishes informed of current resources in family ministry while offering guidance to parents and married couples. This list currently reaches over 1,600 people two to four times each month. Our Facebook page continues to grow its audience with over 2,000 likes. We post inspirational and informative messages several times a week, including our Marriage Minute and Becoming One activities for couples, as well as our Family Connection activities for families. Our Family Connection pages in the Orthodox Observer and Praxis Magazine broach topics related to marriage and family ministry, as well as promote relevant resources. And our parent-to-parent column in Praxis is written by a parent on a topic relevant to raising children in the Orthodox Christian faith. In 2017 and 2018 alone, we led 39 marriage and family retreats, seminars, parent workshops, and clergy peer learning groups throughout the Archdiocese. Staff members are available to assist in or lead these events on a variety of topics. A generous grant from Leadership 100 will allow us to plan a comprehensive program to confront the many issues families face from living in a culture saturated with sex. This program will look at the age appropriateness of when certain topics should be addressed with our youth and how best to address those questions within the context of the church's teaching. The first planning meeting, as a collaborative effort with the Department of Religious Education and the Department of Youth and Young Adults, took place in Chicago in August of 2017.